Hey guys, we are live. Just gonna wait for people to jump on, then we'll get started right away. Cool. Just waiting for people, guys, to jump on and we'll get started right away. If you're watching this in replay, just skip like five minutes ahead and um, you'll, um, uh, if you're watching a replay. Live. Yeah, there's a few people just struggling to get on. Not sure what's happening. Hmm. One second, guys. Just having some technical difficulties. That's all. There's a few people showing their gown. Let me accept them onto the live. And we'll get started. Bear with me, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, let me just accept these last few people into the group. Here you go. They're all accepted. And um, we'll get right to it. Let's go. Cool. If you can hear me, see me, guys, just give me a hi. Just comment down below. Just because if you don't comment, um, I won't be able to see your um, that you've joined. Just comment down below. If you can see me and hear me. Oh, cool. You can hear me. Hi, Nushad. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in. Uh, anyone, else, anyone else on? Yeah, I can see a few people, few people on. Cool. Let's get right into it. So live channel 52. This time we're talking about, um, you know, say these three things to secure direct landlord rent to rent deals. And all these three things really well, I'll be kind of going over. Oh, hi, Royal. Oh, hi, Nutiga. Hope you're okay. All these things I'll be going over is um, questions, right? Because we want to be asking landlords questions. We want to be starting a conversation with them. We want to be finding out the pain points. We want to be finding out how we can help. So these things, three things are actually free questions that I kind of ask landlords to ease them into it. I talk about why I offer and um, eventually hopefully get an offer accepted. Um, so let's get them right into it. So, you know, I've met over 100 landlords now, you know, I started back in June 2019, guys. It's been, you know, all three years now, you know, 37 months to be exact, right? I've met a lot of landlords in a lot of viewings, um, buy, flat, rent, rent, landlords, the all sorts of, so, I've saw all sorts of situations and solved all sorts of problems. I've done over 30 rent, rent deals myself, okay? So I've met a lot of landlords, okay? And there's they're all different types of people, of course, different situations, which is, which is important to account for, but almost always they have a problem. That's why they've replied to my letter. That's why they've called me via my website. That's why they've reached out via other methods, right? A problem which we are potentially the solution to. It's all about, this is what business is about. Business is about providing a product or service that solves a problem that someone, the customer is facing. If there's no problem, then we can offer a solution and the business dissolves. It dissolves, it disappears, okay? If rent trend didn't solve problems, it would not work, okay? But the fact it does work means it's in demand and it solves problems. You get that? Okay. So yeah, that's, if that makes sense. So I'm going to reveal my free question kind of direct language script in this session. Probably one of my most useful sessions ever it's going to be. So really, really stick to the end of it. You're going to find it super, super useful. So let's get, let's get into it. So number one, tell me about yourself. So I always ask this, uh, cause people love talking about themselves. It makes them feel better. Of course, 
that's the main reason. Uh, but you find out more about a landlord you could potentially be working with. Who are they? Are they decent land to work with? Would you would you be comfortable work with them? It's really important to find out. You find out about their job, their family, their property investment journey, the story of buying this HMO property. I always like asking, like, actually, what's going on here? Why did you buy this HMO property? So, for example, they might say, oh, you know, my, my son or my daughter, they were a student at the university, and I thought, let me buy a HMO for them, and they can house share their friends. Yeah, if you're looking enough to have a parent with that kind of money, right? Buy a HMO. So, you know, maybe, or maybe, you know, I bought it 20 years ago as an investment, but now it's a bit tiring, and there's too much compliance, and I don't know what's going on. I just want to retire and go with my wife on holiday. Yeah, so you got to ask about all those sort of things, okay? So, you know, I've literally had like 30 minute conversations with just landlords talking about themselves, you know, especially when it comes to older lands, more, more retirement age. They're not afraid to talk about their life and their experiences. They're not afraid of being ju judged and they love talking about themselves, especially when it comes to older people, because older people are generally more, more lonely as well. So they actually talk more. So, yeah, I've had literally 30 minute conversations, you know, it's quite nice. They enjoy the conversation. Uh, they like your character and it helps push the offer forward, okay? Because remember, the rent rent offer is not all about a number. It's about the person working in this company, which is yourself, behind the offer. Who is this person? Aslan. Okay, Aslan, he seems like a good, good guy. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm happy to, you know, consider and look at this offer. Yeah. So, you know, you can, you can, you can, you can do it. You can do an asking price offer, the best offer in the world. But if you didn't treat them right at the viewing, if you didn't kind of, if the conversation didn't go well, like, they, they might still reject your offer because they're not comfortable working with you for the next five years. They don't care if you're paying them top dollar, you know? So, yeah. Let me know if this helps, guys, so far. Just give me a comment. If I'm going too fast, let me know. I'll repeat. Yeah, honestly, guys, I hate Facebook Live groups because people can't find a live video. It's so annoying, you know? So it really, really annoys me. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, you know what? Have this remembered. I can tag people. Let me tag people. I'm an idiot. Wait, I'm going to try and tag a few people. One second. Jesus, honestly. I'll tag Rico. Oh, shit. Hang on. Bear with me. There you go, Rico. I've tagged you. Who else wants tagged? No one else? Cool. Let's get back into it. Appreciate it, guys. So number two is why exactly did you call me? What problems did you want me to help with? Okay. That's the only reason they call it because they have a problem and they need a bit of help. Okay. And they want to see if you have a solution. So um, find out their, not a pain point, their pain points. Sorry, guys. Uh, find out the pain points. What exactly are they looking for? Um, and once you know what the pains and problems they're having, you can craft a solution. Uh, and that's kind of what it is. And, you know, it, you know it's, it's great kind of getting them to talk about themselves and then liking your character. But then once you've kind of had that kind of easy kind of, you don't want to jump straight into like, oh, how much do you want or about the money and all that. We want to be talking about first, let's get to know them. After you've got to know them, we then ask, okay, so what actually made you call me? What are your pain points? What problems are you facing? What are you hoping that I can solve for you today? What are you hope? What's the best case scenario? What are you wanting today? That, what's the best case scenario? Let me know and I'll see if I can help. And then mention how your services can help solve the problems. Mention a bit like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Just, you, you don't have the money for the refurb, no worries. I'll put three or four K into the furniture for you. It's all good, you know? Or you don't, you don't like maintenance issues, cool. I'll cover a bit of maintenance issues, whatever. Or you don't like the con constant changeover of HMO tenants. It's all good. I work with professional tenants to stay much longer. I can take this over for you, you know? Hope this makes sense, guys. Hi, Anit. Hope you're well. Hi, Rico. If I could solve pain points they mentioned, what would that mean for you? So it's like imagining, them, them, imagining a situation, yeah? So maybe imagine a new reality where that pain points are solved, yeah? What that mean? Less stress, more time with family, peaceful retirement, etc. Right? Because sometimes the problem is so huge. Like honestly, like one guy I met, he was an accidental landlord, and he felt very, very overwhelmed with all the compliance. The council were after him. He didn't know what he was doing with the HMO. It was so many bad faults, and that HMO was crazy. I think only none of the fire alarms, except from two maybe in the kitchen, worked. All of the smoke alarms were broken. Uh, there wasn't any certificates. He'd he'd the electric certificate, gas certificate, all expired. And he hadn't got, he hadn't got that sorted because he had a young family and he was really busy and he just didn't know what to do. Uh, the HMO license was finally expired. The council was on him because the tenant reported him. It was crazy, right? And this is an accidental landlord who had who had gotten this HMO property via inheritance, right? And he didn't know what to do. So it was a really, really big situation. So I was like, I, you know, obviously that was quite an easy deal to do because he was in such a painful situation, and I was able to kind of take it on very, very quickly, you know. So it's it's actually sometimes some very, very big problems, and you know maybe even solve any financial issues. 
you know, high mortgage. Some of these others on high kind of repayment buy to let mortgages, you know, MTH and more could mean a lot of money for them off, you know? So yeah, what would I mean for you uh, if I could solve those issues that you're mentioning? I made them imagine a bit of a situation and it helps push the offer forward. And that's the whole point, okay? Let me know if this helps guys, just give us a love heart, give us a like. Direct a landlord process. So first of all, introduction and uh, make them like you and start a conversation. Let them talk about themselves. Then there's the pain points. Find out why exactly they contacted you and what problems they need help with. And finally, there's a new reality. Let them explain how their life would be better if all these problems were solved. What would it solve? How would it help them? Yeah, let them explore that new reality as if it had just happened and it helps push it off all forward. It really nails down how you can help. Okay, especially if there's a problem and you can help it, right? And then but below that, continue to mention how your services solve the problems. For example, landlord has, has no money for refurb, so house is empty. You can do some more refurb and rent it for him. Yeah, uh, I've met HMO landlords who've got financial issues. Yes, they might own the HMO. It doesn't mean it was theirs. It doesn't mean they bought it in the correct way. It doesn't mean they left enough cash savings in order to manage the HMO. You know, it doesn't ever, not everyone does things properly, right? So um, that's kind of my process uh, for uh, direct landlords. Uh, hi, Evie. Hope you're okay. You've just missed it, mate. But don't worry, there's a replay on it. Once I end this live, it will, it will replay automatically. But literally, mate, we were just talking about kind of the you know three questions I ask landlords, uh, say these three things to secure deals. Um, based on my experience from meeting over 100 landlords over the last over three years. And um, so, you know, yeah. So in terms of the direct, direct landlord process, this is what it is. Introduction, get them to like you, make conversation easy, keep it gentle, no, no, nothing, don't talk about money yet. Then talk about the pain points, then talk about a new reality. And while doing all this, kind of continue to mention how your services kind of solve the problems and how something they experience is actually something that you can solve. And that's kind of all what's about. Uh, take it easy. Uh, don't don't um, be desperate for the deal and be able to walk away. You know, the person who wins the negotiations is the person who can walk away. So don't be too desperate for the deal. There's plenty of patients out there. The time will come for you, right? Seriously. And that's all for today, guys. Hope it helps. Those of you who just jumped on, feel free to watch the replay after I end this live session. And if you want more support, you know, use a free call, you know, link above, just do a free call. You know, I'll give you some guidance, answer your burning rent rent questions. If we're a good fit to work with each other, then brilliant. I don't actively sell anything on this call, guys. It is a free call with me as a thank you for joining the group for any group members who I think are serious. Um, and if you do ask me about what else I offer, but in terms of my one-to-one -one coaching, then yes, I will mention it. You know, why not? Yeah, because I am good at what I do. And I have helped people as young as 19 secure rent trend deals. So there's no reason why I can't help you. But it's, it's it, it predominantly is, guys, seriously, a, a free call, no selling at all, uh, just to give you a bit of guidance. 10, 20 minutes, just give you a bit of guidance, give you a bit of answers, and actually, you know, help you find out if rent trend is the right strategy for you to create your wealth, right? Some pictures of my HMOs. And yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, any questions, guys, while I'm here, uh, feel free to take advantage of me while I'm here. Any questions? Happy to answer, happy to help out. Q and A. Any questions? Let's go for some Q and A. Oh yeah, I can see a question. I can see a question one second. Let me get to that question. Okay, Nusad Naze asked, which department do I need to call in my local council to obtain the HMO register? You call the main council and then they'll go give you a few options and then you go essentially through the licensing department, okay? Not a planning department, none of that. Just the HMO licensing department, the guys who deal with the licenses for HMOs, they'll have that register, right? And you, you might have to pay for it. You might have to visit them. You might have to, you know, maybe you get it for free, but there's always a way. Okay, Evie, Evie Newman asked, how do you find landlords direct? So you find landlords direct in multitude of ways. The, uh, one of the ways is letters. Letters is the most simple way, and I think it works really well. If you've got a really, really good letter template, which I've got five really good letter templates that work really well that I share with my students. Letters is a good way. There's a few ways I don't publicly display, which is to do more unconventional ways. We're talking an emails and phone numbers and kind of getting that from the landlords and that, and then contacting them directly in a bit of cold call. And so that, that, that's a bit different. I don't publicly display that. That, that works amazingly. Um, and I, there's a few other things I do in terms of mail towards them. But letters is one that everyone knows about in, in the industry. Um, it's a well-known method, and I think it works perfectly. I do think there are better direct and online methods out there, in my opinion, which I use, which I don't make publicly available. But letters is a good starting point. So that's why we do, um, Evie, hope you hope you, hope, I hope, hope, um, you understand that. 
Um, you, to send letters, you need the HMO register from your local council to see landlord's addresses and then send the letters to the landlord's addresses. Okay. Hope that helps, mate. <clears throat> Any other questions, guys? Let me know. Hi, Evie. So actually, I literally don't need to purchase Fido's. The reason why is because we're taking on established HMO. So um, if you actually you know, end up working working with me, if should we do in the future, if you do become one of my students, um, we'll, we, we, we'll, we'll actually work together to look for established HMOs, meaning HMOs that are already made, they've got a Fido's, they've got a fire alarms, et cetera, just like I've done in Newcastle. Um, and all you got to do really is come inside there and put some furniture up, maybe some paint to make it look nicer. It's just a co cosmetic upgrade, simple as that. We don't need to interfere anything with the planning permission and licensing. It's too complicated. It's too, it's too much hassle, yeah? So really, you don't even need to know that. I mean, but if you want to know the cost of a FIDO, it ranges, honestly. It's like in an office, it could be as little as 200. It could even go up to 500 per door. It just, I would say between 100 and 500. Depends on the size of the door, the material, the legislation, that local area. It's such a variation. Let's say 200 or 300 pound per door. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, no worries. Even just give me a message if you need help, mate. Happy to kind of answer any questions, give you some knowledge and help you out a bit. Uh, and it says, as a new company, how can you assure the landlord that you know what you're doing and you're, cap you're capable? So that's a big issue, you know, and kind of back in 2019 when I started, I actually let, I had a mentor. I I'll admit, I paid 2,000 pounds to my mentor. Uh, I was a student at the time. I went into overdraft for it, and, but that's how much I value education. And he helped me a lot. And what he did, what I did was I leveraged his portfolio to then help me. So I said that we were working together, we have multiple HMOs together. And so it, 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 by leveraging his portfolio and his reputation, it helped with my reputation. Now, now these days, when I, I don't have a mentor anymore in terms of rent trend mentor, because I know what I'm doing, I now um, let my students leverage off me. So really the best way is if you have a mentor um, on, on it, whether it's a, or even a friend who has a lot of properties, either way, a family friend, anyone who has a lot of properties, even a mentor, um, leverage off their portfolio. Say you've been working with them. Say you've been working with them and then you've now kind of decided to make your own company and all that stuff. And that's and it helps much more in terms of the landlords and agents' confidence in you in being able to um, you know, deal deal with a property, you know? So I hope that hope that makes sense. Cool. Cool. Nice one, Evie. Royal says, How much is your training? Um I mentioned it on a Zoom call. It's better you just book it with me. Uh, because it's not just about because price isn't even the main factor about training it's about what i provide you know because imagine if i only gave videos and i didn't talk to you at all no one-to-one -one support you wouldn't care about the price you want one-to-one -one support right so um i have a powerpoint i go through in zoom call which is like quite a few pages and which actually goes into detail about my processes and how i kind of do things and some student results as well and, and the multiple results of, um, i've kind of given so uh, it's better uh, message me directly we'll talk about it um Evie said, would you advise a furnishing company to go for if I get a HMO house? Yes, I, I would advise getting someone else to build the furniture for you. I do that. But at the beginning, when you're on low budget and you want to save money, maybe you want to build the furniture yourself because it's quite exciting to build furniture for your first deal. I, I built furniture for my first and second deal. It's quite exciting. Hi, Zof. Hope you're well. No worries on it. Cool. I think I'll end it here. Yeah, guys, I'll end it here. Uh, I'll stop the questions now, but... Any other help you need, just book a call using the link above or just let me know how else I can help you. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Bye.